$2,000 per student per year in the U.S. in K-12 education. That is more money than any other country except for Switzerland. All of these other countries I just mentioned are spending less than that. They're just redirecting and investing in new innovations that work. We're number 21 in OECD in science and number 25 in math. So we're becoming less and less competitive as other countries get more and more competitive and our kids are going out now into a global workforce. I want to give you just one example of a, of a student. Um, Giselle Hoff, who's in the front, did an interview with Zach Bonner, an 11-year-old from Florida. And I don't know if any of you have seen Zach, but Zach is 11, and when he was, um, just a few years ago, started his own foundation called the Little Red Wagon Foundation. He started this foundation because he went out into his community and saw all of the homeless youth in Florida. And he said, something has to be done about this. So he started up his own foundation, and he walked from Tampa to Tallahassee to raise money for homeless youth, and then from Tallahassee to Atlanta to Washington, D.C. He's been running his foundation and doing his schoolwork, and on one of his walks from Atlanta to Washington, D.C., a reporter asked him, look, fella, what are you doing outside of school? It's during the school day. And he said, I'm, enlo I'm en enrolled in a virtual school program where I take my classes full time so I can do my philanthropy in the morning and my walks, and then in afternoon I can communicate with my teacher and keep up with school. And by the way, I'm two grade levels ahead of where my counterparts are back in their traditional schools. Are we giving every kid access to the best education, and that includes the gifted kids, it includes the at-risk students. Alternative high schools, alternative education programs are being completely redesigned from the personalization that online and blended learning allows. We're seeing huge results and improvements in what's possible. And yet so many of our districts and our states keep using the public money in traditional ways, repeating the investments in old models. It is just driving me crazy right now with the 100 billion additional investment from the federal government stimulus in K-12 education that is going to what? New models, wiser investments, funding and things that we know that work that can totally shift what's possible or just backfilling the old ways of doing things. So this is a call to action for us to create new platforms and delivery systems that help us meet our challenges, teacher shortages. In Georgia, there are 440 high schools, 88 qualified physics teachers. We're not going to get to our STEM initiatives in technology, math, and science unless we look at new delivery models and online learning does this. So with that, I'm going to um, turn it over to Curtis Johnson. And, and the book that Clayton Christensen wrote right before disrupting class was seeing what's next. And his quote was, <coughs> online courses have great disruptive potential. They could take and make a radical transformation happen in an incremental, rational way. Thank you.